30 in the morning. Do you want to go to the beach? <laughs> What's up, people? It's about 7.30 in the morning, as Kathy already has told us. That's right. At well, least told the dogs. Oh, we're heading to the beach, and the thing about going to the beach in the morning is it kind of sets the tone for things. Not only that, there's no one there. Yeah, there's nobody there. Uh, it makes us it's feel Saturday. <laughs> makes us feel good. Uh, puts us in a good state for the day, and and you got to do that. You got to get out there, whether it's take a walk through the park, uh, morning stroll, just something kind of get the blood flowing so that you feel good and you have a good attitude for the day. Or a cold shower. Yeah, you can take a cold shower. Well, this is going to be a cold Go shower. Oh. There's a lot of people at the Boo already. In fact, it's so packed that we had to park pretty far down the street. But there's no waves. There's no waves just yet, but there is <laughs> waves coming this weekend. Yeah. In fact, the news trucks are already there. There is literally about 50 people in the water right now, which makes no sense because there's not any waves really, but there is a big swell coming and it could be coming today. Very glassy. Check this out. Look at that view. Woohoo! Super glassy. This is definitely the way to start the day. <laughs> this wall quite some time ago. It really wasn't built all that well. I didn't spend that much time on it, just kind of rushed it. Now I get to go back and fix it. Yummy sandwiches and new sauce. Ooh. See, it hasn't gotten red yet. Looks good. We'll probably eat it up before it gets red. Felt the deep just to see it fade. What I know versus what. What is hope and what I know is real, but I do know When I dream of you, the sun is never there And when I sing of you, you seem to disappear I'm 
Still driving the 2017 Hyundai Ionic EV. Oh, look at that! It matches my shirt. Yeah, it's, it's not Ionic with the C, it's with a Q. That's a Q. We're gonna go up to Farmers Market, uh, do a quick stop there, and then we're gonna go out into the valley. But we went swimming. Uh, we're playing around with an idea, uh, and we're gonna kind of, uh, kind of move with it in any way that we can, and that is to go look at RVs. We have kind of a, a an idea of percolating, and it involves an RV, and we're just kind of exploring, uh, very early stages, just kind of check them out, see what they go for, see what they like. Show you guys. Yeah. Thousand Oaks Boulevard. Enormous. Yeah, this is huge. Two hundred and nineteen thousand for this. That's a lot. Now check out this shower. I think this might be too big. Let's look over here. This is pretty cool. Like it. This is about the right size for us, maybe. It's awesome. minutes looking at RVs very interesting reveal as to what size we would be comfortable in yeah. a lot of them are kind of cheap even though these were uh, Mercedes Winnebago's yeah we're just poking around just having a good day doing a little bit of watering and we have two new friends. Cool. If you've watched this vlog for any length of time, you know that we 
we like to talk about advancement and expansion of the mind. In other words, the way we think and, and to find the best way to think about things. Most people have their thoughts on autopilot. They look at something, they react, and they say it's good or bad or, or, or uh, not think about it at all. What you don't realize is that the, the way you look at things, the way you think about things actually makes them become that thing. If you see someone do a stupid thing, you immediately call them a, you know, you call them some kind of name, some kind of really creative expletive. But the truth is, you really don't know why they did what they did, if they made a U-turn, if, they, if they're driving fast, if they say something they shouldn't or do something they shouldn't. You tend to just react and call them some kind of creative name. There are an infinite amount of reasons why they can be doing what they're doing, and we just chose one. We chose to look at them and make a, a decision and then call them that name. Now, there's a high probability that they're not that, because uh, with infinite choices, you're only choosing one. But by you choosing that, by you making a conscious choice that that's what they are to you, that's what they become, and you're gonna get more of that. As an example, if somebody does something that you don't like and it makes you frustrated, and you feel frustrated, that's the key point. If you feel frustrated, then you're gonna be bringing more things to make you feel frustrated. Don't worry, folks, don't worry, folks. I got an answer for you. The key, the golden key, the coupe de gras, the love potion number nine, tomorrow or the next day. If you see somebody doing something that you don't like, instead of calling them a, a name or thinking negatively about them, let it go. In fact, even one step up, if you can do something more than letting it go, actually have a positive thought towards them. Forgive them for making the mistake and then move on. Hidden inside that forgiveness is love. So instead of giving thoughts of frustration, you're giving thoughts of love. And if you give thoughts of love, then only love can come back to you. Now, some people don't do this at all. Some people do it a couple times a day. Some people fill their entire day with it. Some people try really hard to fill their day with it. But if you can, if you can fill your day with love, with loving thoughts, with as much love as you can, then the only thing that can come back to you is love. Love for the trees, love for the flowers, love for the summer, love for cars, and of course, love for all things cool. And that, my friends, is what we do here on the vlog, helping you to love what you do and do what you love. So thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't. Hang out with us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, and sometimes other places. We got some incredible things coming up this week. Join us. We'll see you then.